uh, Warlock still picks up a double kill. He's got oh nice bling to block. Really nice play. He is gonna get that try stun, and this Warlock is gonna go down. Wow, what a three three hundred forty something crit uh, from this Juggernaut. Juggernaut packing damage plus sixty five. Yeah, plus sixty five from the Battle Fury. Um, and, and really interested why he didn't pick up the Phase Weed. Of course, phase, uh, Treads giving him the increased AS helps out Ultimate as well. He has picked up Healing Wards. He's gonna go for the Roshan. Aegis most likely gonna end up on either Enigma or Battle. Uh, not Battle Fury. Uh, on Grubby. Um, Enigma jumping in generally dies really quickly after her ultimate ends, or if his ultimate gets cancelled. But Juggernaut, the, the low HP hero, probably could benefit from the Aegis as well. Sentinel knows this is happening, but can't do anything about it. <laughs> Look at that huge Roshan Ice block. And um, Juggernaut picks up the kill. Oh, Earth? No, no, never mind. I thought Earth Shaker was gonna. Yeah, so like in that last cast I did. Um, Everyone pointed out a hell of a lot of mistake, guys. As cool as Luminous might be, I'm still human. Uh, I want you guys to remember that. And uh, humans do make mistakes. And uh, I apologize. I mean, it's it's quite unprofessional of me making mistakes because I am making a commentary, so I shouldn't be mis making mistakes. Um, but I'll try my best not to. And oh my god, the ship has been hitting everything today except Crystal Maiden because she's baller. Uh, everyone blinking in. looks like they will get the uh, the. Uh, <laughs> they will get the uh, Rasta. I mean, if you look at the scoreboard, like the support hero from Scourge picking up all the kills, I'm not sure if this is going to come back and haunt them. 7, seven and 2 Enigma, 9 and 5 uh, Crystal Maiden. So they are picking in quite a portion of the kills. Juggernaut, still uh, 5 and 2, so uh, he hasn't picked up a kill quite, quite, uh, in quite a bit. But he has uh, been farming pretty healthily. Um, tricking a creep kill, he is up to 95, but that pales in comparison compared to Deuce's 113, Nevermore's 129, Kunkka's only 65, um, however, Juggernaut has quite a bit of, no, he only has 12 neutral kills, so he is, yeah, he's getting out farm. The only thing that's going in the scourge way is that the creep, uh, the hero kill count, oh my god, the hero kill count is 13 and 26, so Juggernaut I mean, even though he's down in farming, they are killing the heroes. Another thing that is going on the uh, Scourge's way that is that they have Grubby. Grubby, like, freaking insane, man. You don't want to count him out. The later the game gets, Grubby, the stronger he gets. And it uh, looks like he's going to creep jack. He's going to creep jack this Kunkka player. And, uh, oh my god, he should be careful. He has Blade Fairy, so magic immunity. Uh, good go for the slow. <laughs> Grubby says lol. And he don't even need a wind walk out. And I hope you guys are getting these Warcraft reference. Right, I'm like sounding an idiot. Uh, Dark Chow has picked up his uh, BKB, so... However, that BKB is not going to help all too much, because Warlock's Inferno still cancels BKB. Um, yeah, so... I mean, it's definitely gonna help with his survivability. He's up to you know, you know, 1.3k health. Has Invisorin, so I'm gonna look forward to him getting a bit of Scout in and uh, some Ninja Black Holes. I think Scourge is gonna offer a push. No, yeah, Scourge, yeah, Scourge definitely offer a push. Invis Enigma in the house and uh, everyone. Yeah, all these dagger is gonna be big trouble. Um, Dusa TP's in. I think Dusa could just kind of run in, sort of bait, sort of soak up damage. Oh, eats an Omni Slash, so all those mana is going to be gone. And he's, he gets Hex immediately. He gets Focus. Come on, Earthshaker blinks in. Black, where is the Black Hole? He wait, he's waiting for that ultimate to Black Hole first. Now he gets the Black Hole, but everyone is absolutely low. Um, Enigma dies immediately BKB or not and looks like Blade Fairy coming in gonna get for that kill gets the kill on Nevermore but really taking a lot of damage going for the double kill and uh, he dies instead so who came out ahead looks oh looks like Scourge came out no Sentinel came out ahead getting a triple kill and uh, triple kill on the Dusa oh my gosh she's gonna be l a problem to deal with um, all the only advantage that Scourge have is those hero kills and looks like in that last fight um, Sentinel just won that totally. I'm not sure. I guess that's a good way to go. I mean, Juggernaut, you do have the Aegis. You throw your Omni Slash, deal a lot of damage on Adusa, but I'm not sure. Like that's the best way to go. Um, oh, they're gonna go for the Dusa. Dusa is definitely okay. She has quite a bit of mana. Um, yeah, she pops his, her ultimate. 
I think I think it would have been better if Earthshaker waited for the creeps to come, blinking, gone for extra damage, om uh, Omni Slash the follow, and then like Dark Child to finish. That probably would have worked out better. I mean, that Earthshaker ulti, sure it stunned three people. It didn't do that much damage. So, I mean, like Kunkka has a Vanguard, so his Wang is pretty much protected. Um, yeah. The only reason that the oh, looks like there is a bit of engagement of uh, Venom Master has a has a Lothar's Edge, so I feel that Lothar's Edge is not gonna help him that much because really his his ultimate is gonna be helped out positioning wise by uh, by the Enigma and Earthshaker. I think he would have been better off going for the Agam and Scepter to increase his ultimate damage. I mean, a little bit damage every little bit helps. Uh, and especially this uh, mid game team. Um, mid game, I mean, this is what they this is should be days is like prime um you know like they should be the there's at the strongest here uh strongest here and it looks like they are gonna go for the rasa rasa a bit low x torn and a ship this guy's ship is just not on cooldown looks like oh crystal maiden going for the ultimate not hitting absolutely anything and uh, they should be back out looks like those wards picked up a kill and juggernaut is farming they have chosen to fight without juggernaut i think that's a horrible choice can Enigma blink out? He's absolutely slowed. Oh, he is gonna die. A oh, BKB and just dies. Um, BKB or not, it's not gonna help you when the tower is focusing on you. I think that's a poor choice. Uh, choosing the fight without Juggernaut. Juggernaut has picked up a Ogre Axe. What does Ogre Axe mean? Ogre Axe means several things. Sage and Yasha, or BKB, or just Saint Six Sages. Uh, have you guys heard about the Six uh, the Six Sage build? Um, Seriously, no joke. Six Sage build is the absolute uh, a tier in competitive play. Um, here's how it works: Six Sage. Each Sage gives you like I don't know 40% chance slow, whatever. Like each main gives you 40 cents, uh, 40 percent slow. If you get six of them, those stack, right? So you get like 240 percent slow. And guess what? Like they're gonna be so slow that they can't even run. They're gonna be so slow that the the only worry that you're gonna have. Is that they're gonna be like so, slow so badly they're gonna start running backwards uh, with increased speed. So most pro go for sa four changes to round out about like 160 percent slow. But six changes, you know, you see it, uh, you know, it's from time to time. So you may be you may be wondering like, if six six changes is so good, why do you never, uh, why do you never ever see in pro games? Um, for one, I think Juggernaut is bringing it out today. Um, so the reason you don't see it in pro game is that. I heard um, I heard Pusher. He 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 was one game. He got six changes, and like oh my god, six change build is so strong, right? But because it's Pusher, like he still lost with a six change build, and like yeah, um, six change build was pioneered by Chuck Norris, and Chuck Norris got so mad, uh, he actually like came out of Pusher's monitor and broke his middle finger or something. So that's why Pusher suck now. Like he used to be not sucking as much. But now that his uh, finger's broken, because Chuck Norris got mad at him, uh, yeah. So that's why six changes are is not done nowadays. Because if you lose with a six change build, uh, Chuck Norris is gonna kill you, really. Um, so do it at your own risk. You can try pubs, but uh, do it at your own risk, because Chuck Norris is gonna be on your ass. Meanwhile, back into the game. Um, this farming progression. Uh, that dude's up to 140, 143 farm. Nevermore still ahead. 168. Um, Venomancer trying to go for the semi curve. Venomancer would work. She he has a hood. He has a face boots and a uh, and a low thrust edge. But he really needs a strong DPS item like a a, uh, a mantis out or a butterfly to really do that. Um, to to go for that semi carry. Not sure if he could do it though. Um, yeah, that juggernaut still going for six Sange or Sange and Yasha or BKB. Probably gonna be BKB in all likelihood. Um, <clears throat> a lot of stuns. Not a lot of stuns, just a lot of AOE crap on the Sentinel team that uh, BKB will block a lot of it. And Dusa, level 18, close to his butterfly. This is gonna be a trouble. Um, I mean, I have no doubt in my mind that Dusa could probably like live through the entirety of uh, Sentinel's uh, Scourge's like AOE barrage and come back and, and deal a lot of her own damage. So it's gonna be like positioning. It really comes down to posi position now. Um, really comes down to that uh, Enigma player or the Earthshaker player to just jump in get that perfect ultimate and earn on the Crystal Maiden as well. Uh, double earn, mm, 
I, I'm guessing she's mostly getting it for the health and the and the re, and the mana regain. Um, I guess so. I mean, why else would you go double earn, right? I mean, it, it's not very logical. She has a. <laughs> I can see the humorous side of uh, days coming out. She has a uh, quarter staff as well. So uh, a low dark crystal maiden coming in. Uh, she's not gonna make it into anything else. Yeah, she's gonna be a, a low dark crystal maiden. Uh, not the best way to spend, like you know, your your three or four k gold, in my opinion. Necro book would be probably better. A blink dagger might be even better uh, to to go for that theme because I mean that's a four k gold that the Sentinel team will be countering uh, with with a dust. Oh, Juggernaut might be trapped, but it's not. It's quite alright. Juggernaut is uh, invulnerable, uh, like you know, thirty seconds of the time during the fight. 